Okay, let's talk chips and the circuit maker. So you remember this this guy here had me go into circuits assemble, the circuit assembling machine, which I haven't had any freaking use for yet. It only has a few recipes. I loaded it with soldering alloy. That's all I'm ever going to need, really need in it. Because lead and tin are just wasted in there. So, you can't really do anything without this integrated logic circuit. It takes twice as much time unless you use lubricant. You don't really have access to it early on. Just use frickin' water. Who cares? Um, <clears throat> anyway, so you've got this guy here, it'll make the various types of circuits, especially the advanced ones. Um, now to make the integrated circuit, you're going to have to get a few things. You're going to have to get the silicon, uh, monocrystalline silicon volume, which is, I think it's how you pronounce it, I think it's how you pronounce it. Anyway, uh, cutting edge, you need the advanced cutting machine. My new wafer, you get that. And then it seems to drop off a cliff. It seems to want to steer you toward these, but it doesn't tell you all the parts you need. Um, oddly enough, you don't. even though it tells you you need to build a better cutting machine, you don't need that good cutting machine to make these wafers. The original one will make them. However, these integrated lo uh, logic circuits, need to, you have to use a uh, medium voltage guy to do that. So just so you be aware. You're going to need 48 EU of a T, but you're going to need another thing too. You need the precision laser engraver, and you need a ruby lens, which means you need to find some ruby, and you're going to need an exquisite ruby. You remember how you could make the lenses out of plates with the lathe? Well, you need high voltage to do that. But if you have an exquisite crystal, then you can do a, uh, one second. If you have an exquisite crystal, a ruby, you put it in there and get that thing working. Yeah, sorry about that. I cat rolling around over here. <coughs> anyway, so with that, you can you can zap one of these into something that you then put in the cutter. Get, oh, hiccups. Gives me eight of these. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's how that's what you're gonna have to go through there. So I had to use my crappy old circuits to make one more thing. Finally, though, I'm ready to make the integrated circuit. Which I think I am. I hope I am. So let's see what we got. I got a phenolic board. Check. I got logic circuits. I got resistors. And I got fine copper wire. I went ahead and made these guys. Um, you need Electrum, which you can make in any any idiot version of the uh, alloy circuit. Alloy uh, smelter will make that for you. Um, you make them into wires, and but you need pure carbon, which you'll probably have had by now. And if you don't, well, just electrolyze a bit of your coal dust and, or a bit of charcoal dust, and you'll get it pretty quickly. Um, but it makes a stupid amount of these things. You do need to use the advanced assembling machine, and you have to have plastic. Um, I do need to make a video on how to make plastic. Um, I've got some stuff together. I'm kind of getting the parts together so I can quickly swap drums out and say, here's what you do. Um, the process takes a long time, so it's actually it would actually make it like a 40-minute video to do it. So I'm going to hold off on that until I get enough parts together where I can quickly run you through the process of that. Uh, but when I'm not going to cover it here. I'll make a separate video for plastic. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, 2U, uh, the Infratech 2U makers, uh, and... Greg Tech 5U, well, probably the Infotech 2U people, your quest book needs some updating because I think you need something in between here and there, like the laser. Basically, they make the laser and then to make these other things, to make the other parts, and then they'll then they can take you into this. Uh, so there does seem to be a few holes in this. I know I realize it's still under development, but I just wanted to point out that that's something I think they should uh, that they kind of left out is to make this guy. Maybe they wanted you, maybe they wanted you to think on your own and read the read the uh, stuff to do it, but it just seems like something that's left out, but it's not too hard to come by. Um, so anyway, I got that. Let me get the board. And what else? There was something else. Oh, fine copper wire. 
And you can use your, your old resistors that way. I'm going to save them in case I need to make one of the old style circuits, especially these integrated circuits. I need to, I need to get a little library of them all programmed up. So I, I'll keep those around for that, probably. <clears throat> but now I have the circuit assembler. Let's start chucking things into place here. One board. Got that there. Got these there. And then let's make one here. I'm just going to put them in the same order they were in the thing for. You're going to need all kinds of... There it goes. There we go, we have an integrated logic circuit. So I'm actually gonna need to make, what, six of these guys to satisfy the book? Yeah, so let's get enough stuff to make six of them. I need to make five more. Let's get five of those. Just get a load, just get a whole lot of that. And just grab these boards as well. I don't care, I'm just gonna leave them in here. Some of the stuff you can just leave in here and grab as needed. There they go, and off it goes. It's kind of zipping around, printing off your little circuit board. That'll make me plenty of these. You might be able to turn these into... Oh, you can. Ha, ah, you can turn them into programmed. But then they probably turn into the old dumb chips, and then you can't use them for much of anything else. But yes, I now have the equipment to finally leave behind vacuum tubes. So we're now making things. We're now making our early uh, transistor logic here. We almost leapt past just individual transistors to this too. Just these logic circuits. It seems like a bit of a large leap. Especially since you can also make transistors. I would think that transistors should be the thing here instead of this stuff. I don't know. You would think the, the early transistors like this would be the thing you would use instead. But oh, uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I thought that was 1920EU. No, 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 or over T. No, that's 24. Yeah, see, why can't you use these? In place of the integrated logic circuits. Which, yeah, that, that, that's something I think that they could uh, make a little bit better. Let's see how we did here. made it. I have six of them. Drop them and pick them up. It doesn't like it. Why doesn't it like it? This seems broken. Let me kind of... That's a good integrated circuit. Which I can take the same board, put three of these on, and make the good ones. So I'm not sure why I can't move forward here. Is there another way to make these that I missed? Was it really that simple? Did I have to make six of these and turn them the dumb way into program circuits and then turn them back into this? Nah, come on, man. Don't do this to me. Of the same bloody thing. So now I have to reprogram the stupid thing. <sighs> okay, I did not know you could do that. But that's kind of a dumb way to do things, in my opinion. I don't know why it put me through that. Weird. That is, that is how you do it. I wonder. Ah, that's how you get around that. So, yeah. That's how you get around it. Laser operation. Okay, so now it gets you into the laser grabber. What a backwards way to go put me through this stuff. HP wiring for your advanced circuits, blah blah blah. You just make apply that. Just iron blocks. This is the correct color. It's very from press to press. 
plate into a lathe. Yeah, well, you have to have the right kind of lathe, too, if you're going to use the gem plates. Otherwise, you've got to get the exquisite type of thing. So that's the only reason I'll need diamond eventually, is I'll need to get exquisite diamond. I can be able to get there using a... I don't need to get there yet, though. Wow, that was wacko, Jacko. Okay, so that so there's two ways to make those. I didn't know that, and now you know. So, random access memory chip. And you're gonna need a sapphire lens for that. Now, sapphire is easy enough to come by. I can shake a bunch out until I get an exquisite. That's easy enough to do. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, I just need a squissy green sapphire. See, this takes 480U over T. Not good. Only takes half a second to make it. Zip. But, uh, yeah, it needs a really high-powered uh, machine to do it. So I'd have to go get some sapphire. That's chips. That's all I really had for chips. And... So I will go dig up a whole ton of sapphire and run that through the sifter to get what I need. So you're going to need a sifter too. So you're know, definitely going to need a sifter. You're going to need a few other things. The circuit assembling machine is nice to have. Um, but apparently you can make chips the old-fashioned way and turn them into these integrated logic circuits. And I really didn't know you could just do that. I did not know you could interchange them like that. Wow, that's crazy. So I can turn them all into this. You can only turn them in back into these. What a what a weird way of doing it. I, they didn't really explain that, so maybe that's something they ought to explain, so that you can pick program chips and then flip them over. Um, because that's that's kind of left out of the book, unless I unless I'm just stupid and didn't read it right. <laughs> maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. Chips are made of chips. First line vibration, very logic chip. Oh, you just have to look through any eye, I guess. I just didn't. I just never would have thought it would be done that way. All right. But well, that's all I've got. That's circuits. And thank you for watching.